very quick way of getting started with WizNotes is you can just open up WizNotes for the very first time and just start writing notes. Then you can go and learn more about WizNotes various features whenever you want. In WizNotes you will write your notes in pages. All pages are organized into groups of pages. These groups of pages are contained inside WizNote books. A WizNote book is comparable to a physical notebook. When you write notes for your courses, you will probably want to create a new WizNote book for each course. For example, you might create a WizNote book for math, physics, chemistry, history, geography, etc. Groups of pages are comparable to dividers inside a loose leaf folder. You'll probably create new groups of pages for different subjects of your courses. For example, if you're studying modern history, you may name groups of pages written before World War I, World War I, and Between Wars International, etc. Pages in WizNotes are comparable to physical pages in a loose leaf folder or exercise book. For your course notes, you will probably add new pages for different topics of a subject within one of your courses. Alternatively, you might create a new page for each separate lecture. For example, if you are studying about the events between the two world wars in modern history, you may name pages Peace Treaties, League of Nations, Boom and Bust 1920s, etc. Even within a page, WizNotes provides a very powerful tool for organizing your, your notes within that page. You can insert an unlimited amount of collapsible sections and unlimited depth of nested collapsible sections. For example, you may have a page where you are writing history notes about the boom and bust years of the 1920s. Within that page, you might add collapsible sections titled Changes in European Politics, The Boom in Twenties, The Causes of the Great Depression, etc. Then within the section The Causes of the Great Depression, you might have nested sections titled Stocks and Shares, Borrowing, Europe Not Able to Afford American Goods, etc. WizNote's main screen is designed to allow you to see different controls when you want to and hide them when you want to maximize the main editing area. The large white area in the middle of WizNotes is the main text editor of WizNotes. The text is in a flow layout so that no matter how wide you have WizNotes, you will never need to scroll horizontally. This is particularly useful if sometimes WizNotes is maximized and other times it is only displayed on half of the screen. You can increase or decrease the magnification of your notes by moving the magnification slider that appears at the bottom of the editing area. Alternatively, you can press down the control button on your keyboard and move the wheel on your mouse. Many of WizNotes functions can be activated from the ribbon that is at the top of the main screen. Some of the buttons may be familiar to you from other programs that you use. Other buttons will provide you with functions that are unique to WizNotes. These buttons have comprehensive screen tips that enable you to quickly learn about their features. The controls on the ribbon automatically realign themselves according to how wide you display WizNotes. This en enhances your experience when you have a lot of screen space and also provide you with all the functions when you, your screen space is more limited. The various buttons are organized into different tabs that relate to different tasks that you're trying to implement with the help of WizNotes. All the buttons on the ribbon have screen tips that help you to learn and remember what the buttons are for and how to use them. The home tab of WizNotes ribbon includes many features that you will find in word processing software. Buttons for these functions can be found in the clipboard section, basic text and editing sections of the home tab. 
In contrast to word processing software, WizNotes has large buttons for numbering and bullets. As a student writing notes in lectures or as a tool to help you review your course material, you will very often want to enumerate items in a list. For this reason, the insert numbered lists and bullets buttons take a very prominent position on the ribbon. Another very important button for students is WizNote's unique new collapsible section button. Other special buttons on the home tab are ones that can be used for inserting pop-up notes and emphasizing your notes and highlighting. Then there's the insert tab. The insert tab provides you with the ability to add various things into your notes. The more common functions can be found on the left side of the ribbon whereas more specialized functions are towards the right. The review tab is specifically designed to be used when you want to review your notes. You will find this tab particularly useful when you want to get ready for your exams. The section part of this tab does not include the new collapsible section button. Instead there are several buttons that you can use for collapsing and expanding sections. The most prominent button is the view outline button since you will find it very useful to view your notes in a hierarchical tree format. You will find the research tab useful when you have already written your notes and want to understand the subject matter in greater depth. The search section of the research tab helps you to look up different online information and link them to your notes. There are two aspects of the help tab. The beginning part of the help tab gives you the ability to find out more information about how to use WizNotes. The rest of the help tab provides you with various tools that you can use in order to retrieve any notes that might have been deleted by mistake. The file menu. This part of the ribbon provides you with various functions that you probably will not use on a regular basis, but might need to use them occasionally. Quick access toolbar. Like ribbons in other software, WizNotes ribbon has a quick access toolbar at the top. If you right click on any button, you'll be able to add it to the quick access toolbar so that it will be available for you to use no matter which tab of the ribbon is currently being displayed. You can add and open pages in WizNotes by using WizNotes Navigator that is located to the right of the main screen. Various assistants can be displayed at the bottom or on the left side of WizNotes main screen. Each assistant provides more specialized functions to help you to perform a wide spectrum of tasks. WizNotes provides comprehensive help in the Help Assistant. There are various ways to open the Help Assistant. The easiest is to press on the small round Help button on the top right hand side of WizNotes ribbon. The Help Assistant is a very useful way for you to familiarize yourself with WizNotes wide spectrum of functions. Like many students, you will probably want to start using WizNotes as quickly as possible and learn about more of its features later on by exploring. A very easy way to do this is by using the screen tips that appear when you hover over any button on WizNotes ribbon. By default, many buttons provide quite extensive descriptions of what the button is for and how it can be used. While you are still starting to use WizNotes, you will probably find the verbosity very useful. As you become more familiar with WizNotes, you may start to find the large screen tips distracting and even annoying. You can easily control how much information is displayed in these screen tips by going to the help section of the ribbons help tab. If you want to switch off the screen tips completely, you can even do that in the my preference section of the ribbons file menu. Even veteran users of WizNotes will occasionally want to see lengthy descriptions of particular buttons. WizNotes has the ideal button for this situation. 
Near the top right hand side of WizNotes, there is a small toggle button that allows you to temporarily view complete screen tip information of the ribbons button. After you have finished viewing the screen tips that you wanted to see, you can push this toggle button out again. Alternatively, after 5 minutes, WizNotes ribbon will automatically revert to your previous screen tip setting.